Management of broiler chicks during the first two weeks of life is critical as mistakes made at this stage are sometimes difficult to correct or cannot be reversed at all. Welcome to Fellow Agro News. This video has three sections where you are going to learn basic procedures to ensure better chick survival and growth. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like, and share with others. Section 1 A Week Before Delivery of Chicks 1. Clean and disinfect cages or floor of the brooding area. Clean the building interior, attached service areas and equipment. 2. Check to make sure equipment is working properly and is adjusted to the correct height. The correct number and type of equipment needs to be determined for each incoming batch of chicks. Any shortfalls in this stage will be detrimental to the chicks. 3. Remove all the old feed from bins, hoppers, and troughs. Disinfect and allow them to dry before new feed comes. 4. Place rat or mouse poison where it will not be consumed by chicks. 5. Place fresh and disinfected litter or bedding material of 7 to 10 cm depth on the floor. Cotton hulls, wood shavings, or chopped dry grass are recommended. Section 2. A day before chick arrival. 1. Set the heating system at 32 to 33 degrees Celsius at chick level in order to make good and warm environment for the survival and growth of chicks. 2. Check water system. Adjust to proper height for the chicks to reach and flush the water lines. Position the water and feed troughs to ensure that birds have access to feed and water within 1 to 2 meters. 3. When all equipment has been assembled, carry out final disinfection. Use formalin 30% and potassium permanganate in ratio of 1 to 3, respectively, to fumigate. Section 3. Day of Chick Arrival. 1. Preheat the brooding area to about 32 to 33 degrees Celsius and check the brooder temperatures by using a well-calibrated thermometer. 2. Make sure the water lines or troughs are full and the whole system is operational. 3. Avoid stressing the birds during transport. Check noise, ventilation, and temperature. Ideally, collect day-old chicks during the early morning, evening, or during the night to reduce the number of dead chicks on arrivals, mainly due to dehydration. 4. Assess chick quality at placing. Chicks should be active, have no deformities, should stand on their own, have healed navels, should be dry and should vocalize contentedly. If chick quality is lower than desired, the grower should alert the chick supplier. 6. Place the chicks quickly and quietly. As the chicks are placed, trigger water cups or nipples to encourage drinking. In some situations such as small-scale production units, drinking troughs will be used instead of water cups or nipples. It will be necessary under such situations to ensure that chicks are able to drink as soon as they arrive. 6. Add a water-soluble mixture of minerals and vitamins for the first 4 to 5 days to give your chicks a boost. 7. Encourage drinking before eating. It is necessary to make sure that water is visible to the chicks especially if nipples and water cups are used. 8. When the chicks have been drinking for 3 to 4 hours, feed may then be given. The feed may be placed on paper sheet, which will be suitably placed in the cage or on the floor. Feeders must be operated at the highest level. 9. Perform a crop test after 24 hours by pressing two forefingers against the bird's crop to check if the chicks are consuming the feed. 10. Lighting at high intensity must be provided for the first week. This is because chicks depend on warm environment for better survival and growth. Points to note. Provide chicks with biosecured, clean and warm housing to avoid chilling due to wind and coldness. Control spread of disease by using single age. This system is also called all-in, all-out system. Spread litter evenly to cover the whole floor. This is because litter materials will absorb moisture and provide warm bedding to the chicks. I hope you have learned something from this video. Do not forget to subscribe in order to enjoy more educated videos like this in the near future. Thanks for choosing fellow agro news.